All right, now that we've made our pesto appetizers, I'm gonna show you another way to use that pesto, and we're gonna use it in a soup with another awesome ingredient this time of year, asparagus. So you can see sitting before me here, I have three kinds of asparagus. We have typical green asparagus, which is probably the most common. We also have a variety that's a purple asparagus, which interestingly enough, when you cook the purple asparagus, it actually turns green or dark green. And then we also have a white asparagus, which some people call a European asparagus or a French asparagus. What we're gonna do is just cut down the asparagus. And I'm gonna take off, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my knife to true up the ends so that they're all in one shape or one line like that. And I'm gonna take off about that inch and a half on the bottom, cut these into about one inch sections up to about there. We need about a pound for this recipe. All right, so now we're at the stove, and again, I just have the onion in here, about half a cup of onion, one pound of asparagus. I have four or five roasted garlic cloves. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And we are not trying to achieve um, a browned effect on the vegetables. At this point, we are only trying to soften them up by sauteing them a little bit. So I'm over about medium, low heat. Um, it takes a few minutes for this probably about uh, five or 10 minutes at least like this till we soften up the asparagus and we, get, we wanna get the onions translucent so that they're a little bit clear before we add in our chicken stock. And once that's done, we're just gonna add in our chicken stock and I'm gonna start with approximately two cups of chicken stock. So we're just gonna add that into there, just enough to barely submerge it. And you can see the vegetables are just submerged in there. We're gonna continue cooking this just until the asparagus is tender enough that a fork would easily go through it. And then we're gonna transfer to a blender. We'll bring it over to the blender in just a moment and we'll blend it up so it's nice and smooth. All right, so we have it off of the stove now. Our asparagus, onions, garlic, everything is nice and tender. We're gonna add this into a blender and we're simply gonna blend until smooth. And this is where we add the yogurt into it. We're gonna put all these ingredients in there. There we go. And our yogurt as well. This is about one cup of plain yogurt. And squeeze of half a lemon. All right, cover on that, and we're gonna blend for about 30 to 45 seconds just until the ingredients are smooth. All right, at this point, our soup is nice and smooth. And we're gonna simply pour it back into the stock pot. If you choose to reheat it, you certainly can. And I'll show you the plating of it. So to plate our soup up, or to bowl our soup up in this case, we're gonna use a couple of things. We're gonna use the pesto that we used in the first part. So we have our pesto here, same pesto that we put on the appetizers. We're also gonna use some roasted white asparagus, roasted purple asparagus, and roasted green asparagus. And then I've also fried up some shallots too that makes a nice little garnish on top of that. So simply take a bowl, and this may be a fancier presentation than some might care to do, but lots of great flavors in this. We're going to take our soup. Actually, before we take our soup, I want to put the uh, asparagus in. Three or four pieces of each one of the asparagus in here. I'm going to put a little bit of the pesto into the bowl as well, right next to the asparagus. It's almost like plating up a, an entree. And then we're gonna pour in our soup around that. There we go. And we're gonna to top it with a few shallots. Put in one more of these. Put a little green in that background there. All right. And there we have it. Fresh asparagus soup and a fresh spring pesto to garnish it.